In this type 3 electrolytic cell, we have silver nitrate salt dissolved in water. The anode has to be a rod of silver metal. And the cathode has to be the substance which we are attempting to electroplate. In this case, it's an iron spoon. When we close the switch and begin the animation, the DC power supply will begin to force this non-spontaneous reaction. A silver atom is oxidized to a silver ion at the anode on the left. The electron flows through the wire pushed by the DC power supply. And a silver ion is reduced at the spoon at the cathode at the right of the cell. And that then adds to the surface of the iron and electroplates the spoon. Oddly, when you look at the chemical reactions involved here and take the sum of the half reaction at the anode plus the half reaction at the cathode, the net reaction is zero. No chemical change in the net picture, and the voltage change is zero in the net picture. That might make you think, what did we bother doing this for? Because we seem to have achieved nothing. In theory, that is correct. In practicality, though, we have moved silver metal from the from the anode and silver ions from the solution onto the spoon, and we have plated the spoon. So effectively, we started with silver and we ended with silver, but we have silver in a different place, a much more useful place.